Chicken and broccoli stir fry is a breeze to prepare. All it takes is within half an hour. In this video, I would like to share with you how to prepare the chicken and broccoli stir fry. At the end of the video, you can download and print out the recipe at tasteasianfood.com chicken broccoli stir fry. Let's take a look at how to make it. Step 1. Prepare the chicken. Chicken breast is a favorite meat for stir frying in the West. If you use chicken breast, freeze the chicken meat until half frozen. If you use the bone chicken thigh, that is what I use now, there's no need to do so. Cut the meat into bite size. Marinate the chicken with the following ingredients. For every 100 grams of chicken, Marinate with a teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of oil, one eight teaspoon of salt, and a quarter egg whites. The flavor of the sauce will only coat the surface while cooking. You will expect a different mouthfeel if you marinate the meat. The flavor will penetrate deep into the chicken. Step 2. Prepare the broccoli. Cut the stalk away as close to the florets as possible. Some of the florets will fall off themselves. Snap off the remaining florets. Cut the stalk once more so that the remaining florets will either detach themselves or be snapped off easily. Do not throw away the stems. Cut away any fiber part of the stem and slice them thinly. Blanch the broccoli. Blanching with plenty of water produce broccoli that is crisp and clean. I set my timer for two minutes for the florets and two and a half minutes for the stalks. Start to branch the broccoli when it is fully boiled. Once it is done, remove it immediately and soak it in a pot of ice water. The cold water will immediately stop the cooking process of the vegetables. Then drain. Step 3. Preparing an awesome stir-frying sauce. I'm going to keep it simple as I do not want it to overpower the natural flavor of broccoli. So here are the seasonings. 2 teaspoons of oyster sauce and a quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of sugar, a dash of white pepper, half teaspoon of corn flour as the thickener, and finally add three tablespoons of water. Step 4. Stir frying. First, stir fry the chicken. Once it turns color, let the heat of the wok to brown the chicken pieces. Now you have the brown chicken which is full of wok aroma. Dish out and set aside. Add some oil to the clean wok. And saute the garlic with some oil.
Keep it at low flame. Add the slices of ginger. Ginger works best for this recipe. If you want to substitute the chicken with beef, you can double the amount of ginger, as ginger works exceptionally well with the beef. When the garlic starts to turn golden brown, pour the stir fry sauce into it. Cook over low heat while keep stirring with the wok spatula until the sauce turns transparent. Once the sauce becomes transparent, that is when the cornstarch is cooked. Combine the broccoli with the sauce in the wok. Let the broccoli absorb the flavor of the sauce. Return the chicken to the wok. Turn to high heat and stir fry for a short while, about 20 seconds. Keep flipping and stirring the morsel of food so that they all touch the burning hot surface of the wok in a split second and leave. This action is the essence of stir frying and the secret of generating the familiar wok aroma. If you like, add a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. And finally, add a bit of sesame oil to the wok, give it a quick stir and dish up. This is how I prepare the home cooked style chicken and broccoli stir fry. You can download the recipe and read more details about it at tasteactionfood.com chicken and broccoli stir fry. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. You'll find there are many more of the similar video out there. My name is KB Kwan. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.